Hello friends, it's Fufu here. Today we are starting a new series. This is me trying to do OU. Basically, I've been wanting to get into OU for a while because I think that if you want a competitive game in Pokemon, OU is the place to go. I like competitive games, so I want to do that. But the issue is, I, I'm really not in touch with the tier at all. I haven't played this tier in months. So I'm a bit worried about this. Uh, I tried to make a team, and I have I really haven't made a team for OU. The last team I made for OU was with a Luxray, and this time I'm going to try a bit harder than that. Um, so a disclaimer for this series is, I'm actually wanting really good quality battles. I'm wanting to learn the tier a bit better. I say good quality battles. For me at the beginning, my teams may not be that great. I do want to build my own teams as well. I don't want to kind of like RMT it or anything just because this is for me getting better at the tier which I'm not good at at the moment so yeah uh, also disclaimer there will be some calculations because I feel like in OU you need to know your calcs you need to know your calcs so um, I will probably be doing them um, just so that I I get an idea of it to start with because I'm really clueless I'm really bad at this I've had some practice matches and I was like, I just, yeah, I lost quite a few at the beginning. My team wasn't great at the beginning and it needed refinement, but also I, I think it may have been because I was, I have no confidence in this tier at all. I just don't know what's going on. Also, I'm kind of low ladder, but not that low ladder. So um, people make odd plays when you don't expect them to. Though It's just more unpredictable around here. When you get up higher up, the prediction games are much better because you know the opponent will know what they're meant to know, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'll take you through the team for this one real quick. Um, I really, in OU, I think there are some really cool Megas. I think, what I like to do is base a team around a Mega in OU because Megas are cool. I really like the mechanic and I want to do that. I will make some teams without Megas, but um, yeah, we're off to a great start by me realizing that I don't actually have a nature on my sizzle. Um, okay, so I'll show you the team. Please feel free to point out in the comments where I am being a complete and utter noob because I need this. I want to get better at the tier, so please let me know. So, I've got a Mega Morwell. I wanted to use this thing. I love this thing. I think it looks so cool. Um, and it's a powerhouse. You need a, you need a store breaker in this tier, and Morwell is definitely that. Um, the issue is it's so strong that obviously it's always going to do work, and I need to keep in my head that I don't just lead off with it and do as much damage as possible. I need to be tactical with this thing so that I can potentially get a sweep and do as much damage to the, t the opponent as possible, not just spam play rough. Like, you need to think, if I come in now, I can actually take out more things than if I just led with it. Anyways, so that's the Mega Morwell. We've got Bowties are Cool, which is a Sylveon. Um, because I felt its weaknesses are balanced off quite well with the team. I really wanted to heal Bella because the main thing that can stop more while sweeping is anything with Will-O-Wisp because you can't get the sucker punch off. So that's why I wanted to heal Bella. Um, and also the Hyper Voice is relatively powerful so you don't lose too much momentum. I, momentum I'm momentum. i all about momentum and if you lose momentum that's a really bad thing. So other wish heal Bellas don't do the job because that you switch in and the opponent's got easy switches and setups and things and it's not good. Next we've got Reptar the Taranta. He's there because I wanted, obviously I want rocks and the main thing is I want Talonflame switching even though I know that U-turn does loads of damage, I don't know what the alternative is, I don't know if this thing should be defensive if you want it for a Talonflame or like if there were a certain number of defense EVs you need it for a Talonflame counter, I don't know. Also the Pursuit is really nice. That's the Taranta. We've got Greninja because um, I wanted a fast special attacker. This thing's expert belt. Nice to catch some things off guard. I've gone for the HP Grass for the Rotom Washes because Grass Knot is not powerful enough. I want to take out the Rotom Washes because that's one of the things that can stop um, more while sweeping. Although actually, you do over 50% if you get a, a play rough off before they wisp you so it's not really a stop to it but yeah I wanted this I also wanted a psychic move for Mega Venusaur and then surf just to cover other things um, the next thing we have is a defensive Mega Scissor I didn't have a defensive one so I made this thing defensive that could be completely wrong um, I'm, I might be better with this thing being set up and with my Landorus being defensive but then 
Bisharp is an issue and stuff like that. And also uh, Mamo Swine. No, but that's why I have Surf my Greninja. See, this is the thing. I'm still... There are so many threats that I, I haven't got in my head and I'm not thinking about. And it's really hard for me at the moment. Because I like knowing everything about the tier. That's why I love NU. I know everything. I know what everything does. It's safe and I know what to do. Here, it's a bit iffy. Um, so yeah, this guy's defensive. I don't see many defensive sizzles, so I'm guessing this is probably not a good idea. Um, but these are the attacks I've given it. I wanted a defogger, so that makes sense. And then, finally, we've got Nimble Nimbus, the Choice Scarf, Landorus. Uh, really just solid Pokemon. I know that this thing is good, so we're going to run with that. So that's the team. Um, please feel free to comment, and we're going to get a battle and see how I do, how I fail massively. This team is a bit scary. Very scary, in fact. I hate Bishop. It's just really bad for this team because I've got two Intimidators. I need to get the Mega off with Mawile as soon as possible. Um, I think he might lead with the Rotom. Maybe. I'm tempted to lead with my Greninja. I do like HP Fire on Greninja as well, but I went for HP Grass. So let's... let's Although he could have a lead. No, because he's got this with rocks. So that won't be lead, will it? I'm just going to lead with my uh, Greninja. I think that's the best play. Maybe. Floor just I can deal with quite easily with my two Steelmons. Um, Pinsir is an issue. It is an issue, basically. I've got Landorus that can take a plus one quick attack and KO with a Stone Edge. So that's alright, but I can't let it set up too much. Um, what else is spooky? So the Ferrothorn, the only fire type mo move I have is Fire Fang on the Morwile, so I have to play around that. And then, okay, so he does lead with the Rotom, which is a good start for me. I just want to go for a Hidden Power Grass straight away, I think, because I don't think he'll see it coming, and that will work alright. I think this does over 50%, depending on the set, obviously. Um, I doubt that he'll switch out straight away. It seems it might be lagging a bit to be honest because that took a while and he set the timer so I don't know if it was just like lag and I no because it would have said that I don't have that much time if it was lag so it probably isn't lag it's probably this guy just taking his time and then setting the timer straight away okay that's good damage and he wisps straight away that's odd play so I would be able to take it out but I think he's gonna switch into either the floor just or the pincer. I don't want to reveal that I'm expert belt just yet because that could be far more useful later because the U-turn won't be doing too much damage to either of those things. Um, so I'm just going to switch predicting him to go into... It might be Pharaoh to be fair. Any one of those things I think Morwell is a reasonably good start. He could go into the buy shop but I don't think he will. I'm going to go into Morwell um, and he's going into the floor just, which is perfect because I can mega and then just get a play rough off straight away. I, I think that's that's the best best play. He could go straight into. Actually, let's think about this, because he's not gonna he's not gonna stay in right here. Ah, oh, he might like the road turn though. I think I think play rough is my best play because the issue is if he goes into Ferrothorn, he'll most likely scout for the fire fang. So it would be nice. To just pop pop it with a fire fang straight away. But I don't know if anyone would make that play. Would they make that play? No, he might just go straight into Rotom, to be fair. I'm going to play rough. He goes into the Pharaoh. I'm guessing he's going to scout for the fire fang here. That does decent damage, though. So he's probably more like especially defensive. Um, I could SD. I don't know if he'll like, expect the fire fang. There's no point SDing, though, because if... He's either going to go for, yeah, there's no point SDing because either he'll protect, and as I SD, oh no, there might be some point in SDing. I'm just going to go for a Firefang anyway. Um, yeah, he doesn't see it coming, so I get to take out the Ferrothorn, and now his defensive core is really, really hampered because, as I said, Florges is not a threat at all, and that Rotom is really low health. I'm going to go into, oh, Landris isn't defensive though. I'll go into... Ooh, this is definitely a Scarfer. This is definitely a Scarfer. So he's not going to go... Is he going to go for Earthquake? He might not go for Earthquake. Hmm. He has to go for Earthquake, right? 
He has to go for Earthquake, because nothing else would kill, and I could just go for a play rough. So, he goes for the SD, meaning that I will outspeed. I need to break the Sash, because that's most likely what he is. That's why he went for that. So, I'm just going to U-turn out of that, as he will go for something else. Sorry, I've got my window open, because it's absolutely boiling over here. That does a lot of damage. Wow. Uh, he might go for the Dragon Type move. I doubt it. But he might. I could go into Scizor. The, uh, yeah. I'll go into Scizor. Because that should be able to take whatever hit he's going for right now. Okay. 25% though. Ha. Ha. I am going to U-turn because I won't outspeed. He's not going to get rocked up this match. So I don't need Defogger. And it means that I'll keep initiative. I'll get a free switch. Completely free switch into something. So I can go into Greninja. I don't have the Ice Beam. Not sure if uh, Circle Kill from there. So I might count that if he comes. Oh, he has the Fire Fang. That's fine. I do get the free switch. But I would have liked that U-turn damage. So he's got the Fire Fang, Dragon Claw, and EQ probably. The Fire Fang will kill this. I, I want to know if Landorus can kill it. So Landorus T against... Um, Garchomp. Is it the usage? Yeah, it is probably usage. His earthquake does not do enough. So I might have to U-turn out again, sack something else. Uh, let's see, what do I need? Mm, this is getting tricky. I can get rid of his attack boost. Uh, after a U-turn, will Mega Morwell be able to take it out with a Sucker Punch? But then I'll be out, he'll know that I'm forced to go for the Sucker Punch, so that's probably not a great play to make, you turning into it. Um, I could just go into it and take the hit, to be honest. But mm, he's got the Rotom still as well. He's got a really well-constructed team, unlike mine. Uh, just going to check what um, Greninja can do, just see how much damage, because I'm thinking Greninja is one of my le less useful things, apart from it can take the Sucker Punch. I don't have the Ice Beam though, and I've got Surf over Hydro, so that's not great. Surf and E-Belt. Basically, I've got a weak set. <laughs> Very weak! And it didn't change Surf. Surf. Surf doesn't, ugh, it does nothing. Nothing! Um. Dragon Claw, yes, yes. Okay, let's go into this. I'm not sure what I would need Sylveon for, to be fair. I'm thinking maybe just you turning into Sylveon, as he may well go for the Dragon type move. Um, I get it low enough that, no, the Surfy won't even take it out, but I'm hoping I can live a neutral EQ and just go for the Hyper Voice. As he's switching into the floor just. Okay. Now, this is where he'll probably try and get a wish off to the Rotom. My best play here is just going straight into the Mega Morwell. He may predict this. No, he doesn't. So now I can just go straight for a play rough and hopefully take something out. But maybe not because he might go into... Oh, he goes into the Rotom. Um, no! Are you kidding me? That is so not cool. That is so not cool. Right, we're going to go into this and just heal Bell off, as that will help two of my things. He can Volt Switch, though, into Pinsir. Is that what he's going to Volt Switch into, or by Sharp? No, I'm going to Hyper Voice right here as he switches out into the Florgeous. Why? Why? I'm getting my wish off. Yeah, what are you trying to... You're trying to heal this guy up. I'm not going to let that happen. Just going to hyper voice again. Okay, you're staying in. That's fine. Um, so, I'm just going to switch straight into this guy again. Like, I would like to get a wish off to him, but he's going to wish up right here. And then I just want to go for the play rough. Because that'll do huge damage to the Rotom. If he brings in the Rotom, though... Oh, I get the crit! I was about to say, he can burn me, but then I will be able to take him out with the play rough anyways. So now he goes into the Garchomp, I can actually take that out from here with a Sucker Punch. As he goes for the SD. I'm just going to check my calcs there, because uh, I can't remember if I could or not. I, I'm thinking I might be... Oh no, I definitely can. Yeah, I definitely can. It just takes him out from there, so that's good. 
That was really good. Uh, <laughs> I just get so panicky. I don't like it. But yeah, you guys are gonna be on a journey with me with me with this one because my like my emotions are gonna be crazy. I've seen far too many uh, people who just spread paralysis and then use confuse ray and stuff and things like this, and it's not cool. Right, I know that I can oko you, and I know that you can't take me out with an iron head. Maybe the maybe the life orb set. No, the life orb set cannot take me out with an iron head. I need to go for the fire fang right here because this is actually my best thing to take it on. As he goes to the SD, is he stashed? No, he's not. That was a really poor play. Because even if I just went for a play rough. And I win the battle! Oh my god! So you can see I've played a bit. Actually, this does not really reflect how well I've been doing recently. I had a 1300 rating from playing from months and months ago. So I don't know that how that happened and how it hadn't decayed to like nothing. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've done a bit. That's going to be the first... Thing. I know it was only one battle, but I get really stressed out and uh, I basically just wanted to introduce the series really here. I also want to hear your feedback and your suggestions and then I can start incorporating them because I would quite like this to be an interactive thing as well, not just me learning but you guys teaching. I think that's probably the first one of these on YouTube because I think a lot of people don't like to admit that they're bad at something they like to upload things they're good at but this is something I'm bad at this is something that I would really like your input in so you guys can teach me and I will be very very willing to receive that edification anyways that'll be all for this time I've been Fufu you've been awesome and hopefully see you next time bye